Oh hi, and thanks for visiting digitalphotographygear.com. Today, I'm going to show you one of the most popular shots, but one of the most fun shots in macro photography, the water droplet shot. Now what this involves is dropping a water droplet into a bowl or a glass of water and taking a picture of the reaction. It's not real easy, it takes perfect timing and a little bit of skill, but let's see what we get. Okay, so today we'll be using the Canon Rebel T1i grit the Canon 100mm f2.8 L macro, the Canon 580EX2, the Canon 430EX2, you're going to need a, a shutter release cord, some water for the water drops, a glass bowl or a cup, and a tripod. The first thing we're going to have to do is obviously fill it with water. You're going to need a little more of that. Now the next thing you want to do is get yourself a background. And I'm just going to use this uh, piece of black foam board. Prop it up there. Okay, now we're going to want to start setting up. We've got our tripod here. We're going to put our T1i 100 macro and 580EX onto that. Now I've got my 430EX2 on a foot. Now I have the 580EX set on master because it can control the 430EX wirelessly. I'm going to place this over here to the right of the bowl so that we're going to have a close up light on it as well. Now sometimes what I'll do is take one of these and put on, and put on the flash closest to the water. It's a sandwich bag and pretty cheap way to keep your flash from getting drenched if you would be dropping something like say a grape or something like that. But you want to be careful you don't want to flash too quickly because that will melt so use them with caution. Alright now I'm going to want, to want this, the 580EX, set to manual in 1 1 mode. Which means that it will fire a tiny little amount of flash and freeze as much motion as we possibly can when the water hits the water. Okay, so we're going to want to crank this up. Try to focus about halfway in the bowl. That'll center it. Now you're going to want to plug your off-camera shutter release into the side of the camera. Now when I push this button, this is actually a combined intervalometer and uh, shutter release cord combined. Now what that means is that I can set the camera to fire at intervals. So if I want to do time lapses of a plan or something, or I want to picture every 15 minutes, I can set it, leave it, it'll keep shooting. All right, we got everything set up. It's time to start dropping and clicking. All right, now we're going to try to drop them at about the middle and try to click at exactly the right moment. Uh, provided that the flash will wake up. Now, after a couple shots, I ended up taking my flash to high speed sync, which enables me to move my shutter speed to speeds over 1 200th. Now, I ended up cranking the camera up just a little bit more so I was pointed down like this over the top, and that's giving me a lot better angle. Now, don't be fooled, this isn't easy. It takes a little bit of skill and a whole lot of luck to get the good shot, but eventually it will happen. After a little bit of trial and error, we decided to get rid of the 430EX and just use the 580EX set on 1 128th power. That's given us a lot better results. 